Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our main fuel table in our AEM Pro software. So we're gonna be finding our main fuel table is going to allow us to scale up or down our injector pulse width output to our fuel injectors. It's actually a pretty simple system of how this is gonna work. However, we're gonna find that we can look at our fuel table in a couple of different units. So we're gonna find that we can look at a raw value, an injector pulse width, as well as an injector duty cycle. So there's all kinds of ways we can manipulate and work with our main fuel table. I'm gonna be showing you how to work in the raw status and then going in and rescaling in a background multiplier using a microbit per second, allowing you to get more resolution and more precise fuel control when you go and rescale your fuel injector. So if you're going to from something like a 200cc to a 2000cc, you're absolutely going to need to do a microbit per second rescale so that you're able to work with the values in the fuel table and get precise fuel control. You're not gonna have your air fuel jumping all over the place as you're trying to change uh, minor changes in your fuel table. I'm gonna be showing you all that. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our fuel table and tuning. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump into our little icon here at the top, and we're gonna be finding this is the fuel-related icon. This is gonna be where we're gonna do our tuning from. So we're gonna simply click this, and we find our page is gonna open up here, and everything related to fuel tuning is gonna be found on this particular page. We find our three-dimensional view of our fuel table, and then we also find we have our numerical view or the numerical editing capability of our table here, and we find that has our axes listed, we have our load and our engine RPM, and then we also find on the right hand side here parameters related to working with our fuel injection. So we see engine speed, we see our uh, engine load, throttle position, our actual wideband reading, our fuel map pulse width, we're going to be talking about this, then we also find our fuel injector pulse width out, that's going to be what's delivered to the injector, you can see they're different, I'm going to be explaining this, then we also see that our injector duty cycle is listed here. So when we're working in this window, sometimes it's, all, it's easier to just simply close out this three-dimensional table and then just stretch out our numerical view here. This is gonna be what we do our actual tuning and editing in and not that three-dimensional view. The three-dimensional view is important because it's gonna be allowing us to see what's going on and we can uh, quickly view the changes that we're making. We wanna make sure the uh, three-dimensional view of this table is nice and smooth. That's gonna mean that we're gonna deliver nice and consistent and smooth injector pulse widths. We don't want to see we have a big dip in the table or uh, big peaks in the table. They should be relatively smooth. So now looking at this table, the values that we see in the table are going to be in raw units, so they're not going to be directly correlated to our injector pulse width. And we can find the units are going to scale from zero, see the value here, all the way up to 255. 255 being the highest raw value 